how can I quickly and easily translate my APIS FMEA file from one language into another? You can of course translate your FMEA by hand, but this would take too much time. There is a much faster way to do this. With the integrated interface between APIS and the translation tool DeepL. For this, you need first of all to create a free account on the homepage deepl.com. On the homepage, go to API and then click on Sign up for free and there you see that you have 500,000 characters for free per month. Then create an account with your credentials. After you created an account and logged in, you need to go to your account page and then click on Account and then scroll down and there you see your API key. Copy this key because you will need it later. Now you can open APIS and the first thing you need to do is to check if you have multiple languages available in this APIS file. For this you see in the bottom right corner your current language and if you right mouse click on it then you see which language you have in this APIS FMA file. In my example I have only the language English. If you want to create a new language navigate to tools in the upper menu bar and then select create a new document language. In the new appeared window you can select the languages you want to create. I will create German as a new language. After confirming you see in the bottom right corner that there is now German written instead of English. And if you double left mouse click on it you can switch between the languages or with right mouse click and then choosing the language. Make sure that you have selected the language to which you want to translate. I will translate from English into German so I select here German. And you see at the language English the bigger character which means that this language is the main language for this document. How you can change this and what this means I explain later in this video. After that I will open the terminology and translation editor under administration in the upper menu bar and then terminology and translation. In the new appeared window you see in the first column your main language of the document and in the second column you see your selected language in which you want to translate. As next I need to set the correct settings so that my translation works. For this I navigate to tools and then workstation settings and then settings. In the new appeared window select network settings in the left menu and then scroll down to DeepL URL. The DeepL key you can get from your account page as already explained and the DeepL URL you see below the key or click on the API documentation here and then scroll down to the example and there you will find the URL. Copy it and paste it in the APIS settings and then you can check your connection settings. If it was successful you will see it on the message. If you are using a firewall then it could be that the firewall is blocking this. Then you can confirm the settings with OK. As next I will translate only my failures. For this I will select in the drop down menu in the top menu bar failures Select the first element, scroll down, press shift and select the last element and then right mouse click and select translate English to German. Then a window will confirm me the translation and if I close this window I will see the changes in my main APIS window too. And if I switch the languages I see also my main language. By the way you see in your DeepL account your current usage for this month. Do you remember you have 500,000 free characters per month. And how can I change my reference language in APIS? To change your reference language navigate to tools and then change reference language. Then select the language you want to set as a new reference language and if the new language is not fully translated a warning window will appear which you can confirm. Now you see in the bottom right corner that the new reference language has the bigger character. Your reference language will always be the first language if you open this FMA file. And which languages I can translate? Currently you can translate 24 languages. Thank you Dimitri. Thank you. And if you liked this video click the like button and if you have a question go to this homepage and submit your question there. And which languages I can...